Welcome everybody to another edition of Couch Chat. And of course, this is the week of Thanksgiving. So maybe you're watching this on Thanksgiving Day itself or maybe before or after, but uh, hopefully you're having a very, very nice Thanksgiving or you had one. I know I get to spend mine with my parents. They're making the trek up from Georgia. So I'm very grateful to get to spend the holiday with them. And something came across, came across my uh, attention just, just this morning and it was in an, an article that uh, a Catholic man, a, a layman, a father of, of children and a guy in the pews, not in our parishes, but, you know, somewhere else. He, he wrote an article that was published throughout the, in, an online magazine, basically, criticizing his bishop by name, very specifically, specific events, and was a bit, like, just disheartening to have this open criticism. And, and it's not anything, in, at least in my opinion, that's, that's huge. And you think most of those things, well, shouldn't you have those conversations? Um, is it helpful to, to air the dirty laundry in public? So I know there's gotta be a, a place for public accountability, a place to, to be able to air grievances, but it just struck me, because I, as I was praying about it, in coordination or just in relationship to sometimes I hear people say, I can't watch the news anymore because it's all just so negative. Like I can't flip on the five o'clock news or watch cable news shows because they're all just so negative of finger pointing at each other or, or whatever it may be. And unfortunately, sometimes this enters into the church too. And I think this this article would probably highlight that, that um, finger pointing at each other is just becoming a way of life, is becoming so much a part of our current American society. And I think probably all of us can agree with that. And I even notice it in my own life. Right? We, I think if we're honest with our own hearts, we can see that the finger pointing, the accusation, even if we don't do it publicly, we, in our thoughts or, or just in our conversations with others, that we can be a bit hypercritical. We can be real easy to point out falls and foibles and not so quick to, to take our own, to, to be honest about our own shortcomings. And saying all of that, maybe just to give one concrete way out, because I, I, we probably all see this in our own life, this kind of tendency to be critical and maybe husbands and wives, you can find this with each other, maybe parents and children, maybe uh, coaches, maybe in the workplace, wherever it may be, or even, you know, in the parish community. This seems that this spirit of criticism seems to be entering our church, our world, our lives, and, and I can speak from experience, my own heart. And maybe it's just providential to have this week of Thanksgiving. Because one of the ways out of, of being critical, one of the ways out of being negative, is turn to the Lord in gratitude and to turn to each other in gratitude. And to be, if, if there's kind of a spirit in our world of being hypercritical, maybe we need to be intentional about, about being grateful, to be able to, to shed praise when people deserve it to be able to, to say thank you to God. And when we come to the Lord in prayer, rather than bringing all of our grievances, all of the issues that we experience, to come to Him in thanksgiving, to recognize all the good things that are happening, to, to be able to celebrate what the Lord is doing and, and the people who make this possible, all the, all the good that the Lord is doing. And so maybe we just take this, this holiday very seriously this year, this Thanksgiving holiday, as an antidote to what's going wrong in our world. That it's an antidote to, to, to transform criticism into gratitude and to, to kind of take personal responsibility and ownership for that ourselves. Whether that means sitting around the Thanksgiving table and going around and, and even if it feels cheesy, it feels just kind of forced, but to force and be super intentional about being grateful. Whether it's in our church, whether it's in our communities, whether it's in our families, it's one of the great antidotes for, um, for criticism. And so with that being said, there are so many people that I could express gratitude to. And unfortunately, there's always people that I would forget. But there are so many people that help keep the church in our local communities running, firing on as many cylinders as possible, and thriving. And I wish I could name them all, but if you 
participate in any way, whether it just means showing up to Mass and, and praying, thanking Almighty God for all that He has done for you, or maybe you get to be a mentor couple in our, in our uh, marriage prep process, or, or maybe you teach kids in CCD, or, or you, know, you, you just do something behind the scenes and clean the church pews. Thank you. We're so grateful for all of those who pitch in because there's countless people and sometimes the priest is just the face of the work of all that all that people are doing. So thank you to all of those who support our parishes, our communities with their prayers, with their efforts, with their, their hidden yeses to God. And it's, it's truly a blessing and the Lord is so good to us. And so hopefully you have a very blessed Thanksgiving and may this be a time to really be grateful to God and express our gratitude towards each other. Have a great Thanksgiving.